What's up everyone? Um, so it's a really snowy and just mucky day. So I decided to make a video on how to make homemade fresh warm donuts. All right, so you are going to need a medium sized saucepan, some cooking oil, some um, biscuit dough, and this is actually a pineapple cutter, but it's something to punch the holes in the donuts. And then to add some flavor, some cinnamon sugar. All right, so my mouth was recording, and then she stopped recording, and it exploded. So I usually bang it on the counter, and it explodes, but, well, it just exploded. So you're going to twist this, and this is kind of cool. You're going to twist this and take out, so this two, this might be two, yep, so I guess we can do two. You're going to take them out. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this here, pretty simple, just cut holes in them. And then for the middle part, we're at, you, we actually make the donut holes, and that is amazingly good. So we're just gonna pop that through. Actually, I don't know how to get this up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so we got a donut hole, and we'll do it one more time. Just simply go like that, twist it, pop it out. Don't at home. Don't. All right, that is the first step. All right, so you pour the oil about. Ooh, we might not have enough. Oh, we don't have enough. All right, um, short break, and we'll come back when we have more oil. All right, so we're opening the second thing of oil we need, and we're going to fill it up. Come on in. Come on in. We're about to. We're probably going to fill it up. You need a lot of oil for it. About like that. Alright, next we're going to turn on the stove. And we're probably going to let it um, sit and um, heat up for maybe five minutes, I would say. Until it kind of, well, gets hot, I guess. Alright, so while I'm, I'm cutting more um, donut holes and donuts, I got a lot of comments on my last video about the pheasants. Um, I'm going to try and <clears throat> probably after this video, I'm going to get, or not after the video, in the video, I'm going to go outside and show you guys the coop because a lot of people wanted to see the coop and they're doing really well. A lot of them are getting um, their colors, or like a lot of the boys are getting their colors and oh, like the, the um, white or the yellow golden. Um, pheasant, beautiful. He is getting his colors. Same with the red one. So yeah, they are doing really extremely well. Um, like I said, they're beautiful. I'm super excited for April when they start laying eggs because I'm gonna sell them. <laughs> Sorry. Um and. I, I can't wait to hatch some of my own so I can have a breeding a, a different breeding pair for when these die because I don't I want to keep keep the the bloodline going of like a purebredness I guess and they are just adorable I love them so yeah I'm gonna cut out the rest of these things and I'll see you guys probably plopping them in the oil all right um so we didn't have enough cinnamon and sugar for all the donuts I just realized so so we're gonna take basically I got what is this? What you make? A half of a cup of sugar. I'm gonna scoop it and pour it in a bowl. And then we're probably <clears throat> gonna take some ground cinnamon. About not as much though, so like maybe halfway. Pumping up. Cut. Okay. Um, so we're going to add about this much cinnamon in here. And I guess we can get a spoon. And we're going to mix it all together. To look With more. your fingers or the spoon? <laughs> With the spoon. We're going to mix it, mix it. So it looks about this color. It shouldn't take pretty long. There. Homemade cinnamon sugar. Alright, so we're going to put, we're going to start with the donut holes. So we're going to put the donut 
on, or drum hole, onto this thing, dip it in, try and shake it off, and then see, it is sizzling, popping, and hmm, I'm not sure. It's, yeah, it's turning brown almost like instantly. So that is what you want. We actually used a um, test <clears throat> donut hole to test it out to see if it's hot enough. And is that already done? Yep. Wow, that is actually, that went really fast. So yeah, you're basically gonna take it <clears throat> and put it on here. Let it dry off for a little bit. Put that right there. And then I'm gonna take my spoon right here, put it on, <clears throat> and then cinnamon sugar coat it. And then boom, you got a cinnamon sugar homemade donut. Cut. All right, my mom just had a really good idea. We're just gonna put them on all at once. It's actually kind of cool, but very dangerous. So be careful with um oil. I'm just gonna give that to a. A little, um, little reminder to everyone. Careful with the wheel. I'm gonna flip them a little bit. They go really quick, which I'm actually very surprised about. I, like we've done this recipe a couple, quite a few times, and I don't think they've ever gone this quickly. And also, I think at the end of the, or like, for the taste test of the video, my dad will taste test them because he's the originer, originator of the, um, things. Alright, I think they're done. Alright, we'll put them right over here. And, ooh, hot oil. Don't like it. And we'll take one. How about this one? And do like the exact same thing that I'll do it. And the next clip will probably be me putting a donut in. So, yep. All right. So, um, we're gonna put this donut in. Um. So after that short delay, <laughs> um, if you see what happened there, it was very hilarious. Now we're gonna put the sizzling hot donut on here. Oh, that was horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Russell, get a knife or something. Yeah. Oh, that is stuck. Oh, no. <laughs> I think we tried it. Oh, no. I think I just ruined Yep, I ruined it. All right. So, we're actually on set now. So, we actually ruined that donut. So, we're going to try again. I feel like it's going to do the exact same thing. Oh, no, it's in it. Well, I think we should stay back a little bit. I think we had it on like way too high heat intensity. So I think that's what ruined the other donut. So I'm gonna flip it. Oh, look how crispy that looks. That just looks amazing. All right, now let's try and do this correctly now. All right, we take it back, we set it down. We let it cool off. Actually, the, what happened to the last one is it got stuck to the, this thing. What's this called again? A strainer. A strainer, says the professional cook. All right, so it should be about done. Now we'll put it in here. This is a little big, so. All right, there, you got a um, donut, and I'm gonna do this to the um, rest of the donuts, and I'll see you guys probably at the taste test. Bye. Don't you. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, so my dad is going to take the first taste test since he was the originator. No outdoor voice was. Good no. consistency, good coverage of cinnamon and sugar. Does it taste good? Crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. Yum! Pass.
I think we all like them. So that is a mission success. So I will see you guys in the next video. So bye. All right, so a little bonus footage. I'm gonna, we're gonna taste test the donuts. That bigger donut. Mm hmm. Mom, point the camera at me. Mm hmm. Oh! Make sure it's getting on my donut, too. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me! Bonus footage. <laughs> yep. All right, so I said it already. Um, <laughs> Like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!